Okay, lots of um, foundation level number questions. Starting off with lots of easy ones, with basic skills, working up to the higher level as we go through. Okay, so let's start with this one. A list of numbers, quite a common type of question. Uh, multiples, factors, squares, square roots, cubes, that sort of thing, you've got to pick out of a list. This one says the multiples of 8. Now multiples are, as it sounds, like the multipli multiplying, it's just the multiplying times tables of 8. So, they're the first few. You only need to go up to 30 on all the answers, so let's look and see which ones are in the list. 24. A factor of 28. Factors are the ones that go into a number, so the 1 and the number itself are always a factor, and we know factors are paired up because they're the two numbers that multiply to give you that number. And that was really enough space. So there's all the factors, two fourteens, four sevens. So we've got seven. Okay, and one that we've got to do that's a both a multiple of nine and a factor of thirty six. So multiples of nine of those, a factor of thirty six. Um, there we go, we found one pretty quick. Okay, another list of numbers question. This time you've got to put it into a table, so we've got to find our odd square number. So we're looking through our numbers here. 4 is a square number, so that's a square number. 36 is a square number, and 49 is a square number. Square numbers are the numbers when you multiply a number by itself, it gives you that answer, that's the square number. So 49 is the odd square number. Um, now as soon as we've done the square numbers we can look through this factor of 20. So what number goes into 20? Well 36 doesn't go into 20, 49 doesn't go into 20, but 4 does, and that's the square number. The square number is a multiple of 6, and that's the other square number, which is 36. Uh, multiples of 5, so 5, uh, five 10, 15, 20, anything that ends in those. So one of those is an odd number, that's 125. One's a factor of 20, so that's 10. 10 goes into 20. And multiple of 6, it's in a 6 times table, and that's 30. Uh, powers of 10. You've got uh, the most obvious one, 10 squared is 100. 10 to the power of 3, which is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. And that's what we're trying to do, so 10 to the power of 3 is 1,000. Right, we've got a sequence here, 10, then it goes 1,000. So we're adding two zeros that time, then another two zeros, then another two zeros. Rewrite these four terms using powers of 10. I'm not actually going to do the zeros, but this is just 10 on its own, so it's 10 to the power of 1. And the number of zeros tells us what power of 10 it is. So three zeros is 10 to the 3. 5 zeros is 10 to the 5, and 7 zeros is 10 to the 7. And the next term in the sequence, like I said, you're adding two zeros, so we've got 10, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Each part of the circle, uh, in each part, circle the odd one out, give you a reason. So, fractions, which, well, the odd one out is going to be the one that's different. A half um, can be written as lots of different equivalent fractions, like 2 over 4, 3 over 6, 4 over 8, 5 over 10. In fact, any number where the top number is half the bottom number. So that's a half, that's a half, that's a half. So the one that's is not equivalent. A half. You could probably just get away with saying it's not a half. 10% uh, of 60, when you find 10% you knock off a zero if it's a number with a zero on the end, so that's 6, or divide by 10 if it's not. 20% you knock off the zero and double it, so knock off the zero is 3 for 10%, doubled is 6. 3% uh, um, find 1%, 1% is uh, knocking off two zeros, so 1%, and then times that by 3 gives us 6 again. And 100% of 600 is just the number itself, 600. So 600 is the other one out. Um, it's not equal. I'm oh, sorry, not 600. 100% of 600. 
not e equal to 6. Square root of 144, so what number times by itself is 144? That's 12. 192 is 6, uh, 4, no, it's none of those. That's 11, and that's 13. I have to get my calculator out for this. Essentially, the answer to this is uh, 192 because it's not a whole number, but you wouldn't know that unless you knew that the square root 192 is equal to 8 root 3, which is actually approximately 13.85. So, square root 192 is the other one out. Uh, it's not a whole number. There are lots of technical terms for that integer or the fact that it's irrational, but that will do. The difference between the squares of two whole numbers is sometimes a prime number. For example, 5 squared take away 2 squared, so 5 squared is 25, take away 4 is 21. That is not a prime number. A prime number is numbers that can be only divided by itself and 1, whereas the number is not 1, so it has to have two factors. 21 equals 3 times 7, so that is not a prime number. But 4 squared, which is 16, take away 3 squared, which is 9, is 7. And 7 is a prime number, because 7 can only be written as 1 times 7, nothing else. Find a different example where the answer is not prime. So we've got to try lots of values. Now the best thing to do here is start very small. Um, whole numbers, let's start with 2 squared minus 1 squared. Um, so that's 4 take away 1, which is 3. That's a prime number. Um, then we step it up a bit, 3 squared minus 1 squared, which is 9 minus 1, which is 8. That is not prime. There's 8 equals 2 times 4 as well as 1 times 8. Find a different example where the answer is prime. Well, we've done that already, so 2 squared minus 1 squared. There are lots of answers for each of those. That will do for those two. Jack is thinking of number, numbers between 10 and 20, it's an odd, the number is odd, so that's 11, 13, 15, 17 and 19. The number is a multiple of 3, that just leaves you with 15, because 15 is 3 times 5, therefore it's a multiple of 3. Neem is all thinking of a number, the number is greater than 1, the number is a factor of 20, the number is a square number. So. Uh, greater than 1, factors of 20 are 1, 2, 20, 10, 1 times 20, 2 times 10, 4 times 5. It's greater than 1, so it can't be 1. And it's a square number, 2 is not a square number, 5 is not, 10 is not, 20 is not, 4 is equal to 2 times 2, so that's a square number. Some fractions. Which two fractions are equivalent to a quarter? So a quarter is equal to 2 over 8, equals 3 over 12, equals 4 over 16, equals 5 over 20. And we could go on, but we have 3 over 12 and 5 over 20. So our two answers. Write down any fraction that is less than a quarter. So the top number has got to be less than a quarter of the bottom number. Um, so four, eight, 4 over 8 is a half, 2 fifths is more than a quarter. Um, we could change that up to uh, make it out 20, we get 8 out of 20. And as we know, 5 out of 20 is a quarter. Um, so the answer must be f 6 over 30. Um, yeah, well. How do we know that that's the answer? We could use our calculator. 6 divided by 30, and it'll say a fifth, which is less than a quarter, which is 0 0.2, and a quarter is 0 0.25, so 6 over 30. Calculate the square root of 0 0.25. So the square root of 0 0.25 equals a half or 0 0.5 okay so choose the correct word a uh, quarter is something of four well that is a reciprocal reciprocal uh, for a fraction 
you turn the fraction upside down and 4 divided by 1 is 4. For a whole number, the reciprocal of 7 would be um, 1 divided by 7. Two numbers out to 10, the numbers multiplied to give to give you that. Okay, I have to use our calculator here to help us. So, two numbers out to 10. Well, I'm going to start with 5 and 5. And 5 times 5 is 25, so that's too big. So let's try, and I think that probably gives the biggest answer. So let's try 4 and 6. Well, 4 and 6 is 24. Um, 3 times 7 is 21. 4 times 6 equals 24. Now, in a 3 mark question, which is what this is, those sort of bits of working will get you marks. That's probably going to get you one mark at least. And now we're going to look for um, trying to get a bit closer. So we want, let's try 3.5 times 6.5. It helps if you make sure you don't get the adding up wrong. Oh, now stumble on the right answer. 22.75. But you could try lots of different things there until you get the right answer. Because you've got to calculate it, it's just a case of trying lots of different things until you get to the answer. Uh, one sixth of the number is 30. What is one fifth of the same number? Uh, could use a calculator for this, but one sixth of the number is 30 means one sixth equals 30. So six six, the whole number, the number itself would be six times 30, which is 180. One fifth of the same number is 180 divided by five. Divide by five, we can divide by 10 and double. It's going to be 36. But if you're not sure, this is a calculator question. So 180 divided by 5 36 okay and then we've got to work this out 3.8 plus the square root 2.1 and you've got to leave your answer as a decimal write down your full calculator space so that's 5.2491376 now the two decimal places, two decimal places is this part, oh, this part of the number here, so 5.24, and we've got to decide is that going to be just 5.24, or is it going to be 5.25? Because this is a nine, it's going to round up to 5.25. Okay, number machine question. Um, what is the output when the input is 5? So we put 5 in. 5 times 6 is 30. 30 take away 12 is 8. 18. What is the input when the output is 0? So we're starting with an output of 0. We've got to try and either guess numbers to figure that out. Times them by 6, taking away something. Or we can do the opposites, the inverses, by adding 12 and then uh, divide by 6 and that will tell us the number is 2. Just check that, 2 times 6 is 12, take away 12 is 0. The output number equals the input number, work out the input number. So we know 5 gives us 18 and 2 gives us 0. So somewhere in between two and five. So if we do try three times six is eighteen. Um, minus twelve is six. Four times six is twenty-four. Minus twelve is twelve. That's too big. So let's go for two point five. Okay, let it back. Two point five times six minus 12 equals 3 so that's still too big so 2.4 times 6 minus 12 equals 2.4 so 2.4 is your answer next question ok which one's the square number well, 9 is the square number, that's 3 times 3. Multiple of 7, 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, so 35. 
write down a factor of 40, 1, 40, 1 times 40, 2 times 20, 3, oh no, 3 doesn't go into 40, does it? 4 times 10, and 5 times 8. And 20 was there, should have spotted that one. Write down a prime number, so numbers that only have one factor. Most prime numbers are odd numbers, apart from 2. So 9 isn't because we know it's a square number, 13 is a prime number. And the other two odd numbers we know, 3 goes into that and 5 goes into that, so the answer is 13.